Okay, so today we are looking at a task manager for the GNOME desktop known as Getting Things GNOME or GNOME or meant to be done really. Uh, so, so basically this is just a very simple task manager designed for the GNOME desktop. Therefore, it adheres to the simplicity and minimalist standards that GNOME is famous for. Uh, now, the idea here is that you come in, you create a new task and you simply uh, label that task whatever you want to call it. So I will say screencast and then I'll make a list of, uh, uh, say a list of screencasts that I want to do. So let's say, oh, let's say Fedora 19, um, maybe Ubuntu 13.04 and well, I don't know, what about OpenSUSE uh, 15. It's all fairly futuristic stuff, but anywho, as you can see, just by tapping the uh, just by tapping the dash key, you do get uh, you do get an extra option there, and it creates a subtask. Now, the idea with a subtask is that then you can enter details on this particular overall task. And once you've finished entering in the details of that particular overall task, then you can set a start date of when you want this task to begin, and of course, then you have a due date. Now, for instance, I will say uh, later. And it, and, and it will simply categorize it as later. Then the ones that are sooner will be ranked as a high priority. Now for each of these subtasks, I can click on that and enter in uh, the details of whatever, uh, whatever subtask that, uh, this is. And I can cr keep creating subcategories and subcategories as far down as I need. Now, it's not only just the task manager, but because it's GNOME, it integrates in well with a lot of other apps. So for instance, if we go up here and look in preferences, you can see that uh, you can start the GNOME, getting things GNOME on, uh, on every login. Uh, and then you can also put in the Tomboy slash Gnote plugin, um, which is very, very helpful. Basically, the idea here is that once you have a task, so for instance, Fedora 19, uh, which does not exist, uh, you can just come in here and simply uh, link in one of your Tomboy notes. So you can see here that I can just simply add a Tomboy note and it will open up whatever notes that I might have and there you have it. Uh, and I can add in whatever note I need to and it will link into whatever uh, to whatever topic I've selected. Now, the good thing about this is that it really makes project management a lot easier. Uh, if you're working on a particular project and you have a, a notebook with Tomboy Notes, it's very easy to link it in here with your tasks. So uh, for any uh, for any assignments you might need to get done, for any projects you need to write, articles, etc. It's, it's a very unifying tool and it really helps you stay focused on what it is you need to be doing. Uh, now, as you can see here, the uh, it does have a task with lots of subtasks on how to use all these different features, so that is also very helpful. Uh, now, of course, being part of mainstream GNOME, you will find it in almost every distribution on the planet. Uh, generally speaking, it is under the package name of GTG. I have had difficulty finding it in, in, uh, in various repos in the past by searching for getting things GNOME, but if you search for GTG, you should be able to find it very easily. Uh, also, the other nice thing here is we've got tags. Now, I, again, I'm not going to go through all this because all these instructions are listed here in the app that, as soon as you install it. So Getting Things GNOME is a very simple task manager. It links in well with other GNOME tools like Tomboy Notes, but it also has plugins for other services and helpful options. For instance, you can link it in with Remember the Milk, which is quite a popular task manager that is linked on the internet. Uh, you can link it with Hello World. You can send tasks via email to remind you, which is also very helpful and uh, and you can also import tasks from the JSON formatted files. I've got no idea what that is but who knows. Uh, now also depending on what applications you have installed like Evolution which is the standard GNOME mail and calendar uh, you can sync it in with that as well as well as exporting and printing, uh, Bugzilla, uh, Hamster Time Tracker integration. It really ties in with a lot of famous GNOME services and tools and that's what makes this application so helpful. Uh, definitely worth checking out if you are project oriented and you need to get work done. This is definitely one of my picks. It's one of the first things that I install when I begin using a system.